back to my channel. So I'm going to put dinner on early. Um, I'm going to have low carb cabbage and sausage for today. I've got my crock pot over here. I know this is a pretty bad uh, angle here, but I'm going to do the best I can. Actually, I'm going to move my crock pot over a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys what all I'm going to do. Number one, this is the ingredients we're going to use. I have a small head of cabbage. I have some of the Truvia brown sugar blend. I have a very large onion, as you can see. I have about a half a stick of butter. I have my salt and pepper here. How cute, though. Um, I have my kettle and fire bone broth. This is the chicken mushroom. I'm not going to use much of that, probably half. And then I have some kielbasa here. And I also have where I save my bacon grease. I have this here too. So I'm going to be putting about a spoon of that in there just to add a little extra flavoring. So the first thing that I need to do is move all this stuff off my chopping block and cut this cabbage up into squares. So let's get doing that. I've got this bowl back here that I'm going to be putting scraps in. So I'm going to do this. It will not take me long for sure. And then, you know, 10 minutes in the kitchen and then I'll have dinner ready this evening. And the family's going to be having egg salad today. So I'll get those boiled up. I'm getting ready to head out and get in the woods. So I want to get this done. So I won't have to think about it this evening. And this is something like if you don't put it on, like you could totally make this in a wok or something like that. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take out off this outer leaf of the cabbage. Okay. Hope you guys are doing great today. All right, if you guys make this, make sure to let me know. Let me know if you changed anything up. I know there's a lot of different variations. So, and they're all probably going to be totally awesome. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of pour this in a way. Get that core off of there. This side. And I'm going to slice it. Down like this and then into squares just like this not huge ones as you can see and the last one tip it over oh. all right I'm gonna take all this transfer it over here to my crock pot I'm gonna do the whole head and that whole huge onion. It's like the biggest onion I've seen in a while. All right, so I'm gonna kind of get the core out of this one as well. Oop. All right. Now, the recipe that I found for this was not a whole lot specific, so we'll have to see. All right, so one small head almost fills up the whole entire crock pot. Okay, now for this big old onion. Mm. I think my knife's need to sharpen. You know, that's how most people cut themselves is on a dull knife. Honestly, I thought that was my sharpest one, though. So here's the deal. The recipe said cook this on in a crock pot for six hours. It didn't say low or high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do high 
and then I'll come back this afternoon after I get back. I'll look at it. I'll stir it. I'll see what I think, and I may turn it on low. Because I'm not planning on eating until probably around 7 o'clock tonight. Okay. There's that one. Right on top of all the cabbage. Okay. There's the other one. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is the kielbasa, and this is just the Eckrich Polk Polska kielbasa, which is what we always call Polish sausage, and it says it's easy open. Let's see. Probably not. I'm not going to fight with it. How about that? How about that? I'm going to fight with the kielbasa. Cut them both up at the same time, make things just a little bit easier. I'm just going to cut them in rounds, just like this. I will definitely want to come back later and get that, um, get the, give this a stir and check on it. Mainly because I want to make sure that the bacon grease that I use is nice and distributed. Ooh, ooh, lost one. All right. I hate losing one. <clears throat> okay, all of that goes on top. Okay. Now it says salt pepper and garlic powder i am freshly out of garlic powder but i do have this garlic and pepper so i'm just going to use salt and garlic and pepper i'm just going to liberally sprinkle over the top you can't you can even see this can you <clears throat> transfer over here liberally sprinkle this over the top okay Salt. Oh, that's the salt. Where's my salt? What did I do with it? Oh. Okay. A little bit more. All right. <clears throat> then I'm going to add, although it didn't say, <laughs> it just said add some Truvia, or just said the no sugar, whatever no sugar brown sugar you use to add. So I'm just going to go with a couple of tablespoons just because I am very unsure. So let me grab a tablespoon. I'm, just, I'm not measuring like, you know, I'm just adding a couple of spoons. I sprinkle it around on top so it can kind of do its thing. Well, okay, there's one and two. Okay, so, never, I don't know, hopefully that's going to be good. Okay, next we have um, a few pats of butter. So I got half a stick. I'm just going to cut this in pats and lay it on top. See, I'm not going to stir all this up when I'm done. I'm just going to stir it later after everything has mingled in together. Okay, take this knife. that okay now it says chicken broth it says a cup um how much is this so this is 16 ounces so this is half of this will be about a cup i love the kettle and fire brand of bone broth and anytime anything calls for chicken broth i usually try to use bone broth in that 
because it has so many benefits it's unreal so I'm just going to cut the top off of this okay and the rest of it I'll probably just put in a glass and stick it in the fridge and either make something with it or just drink it because it's going to be awesome so this is like I said the chicken and mushroom well if I could get it open hold on there we go all right so just going in with about half of this right on top all right there's that next um it says oh it does say stir it all up and then it says cook on low no it doesn't say it doesn't say cook it says cook for six hours okay so before i stir it up i am going to go in with this right here okay this is so yummy so i'm just going to go in and just kind of drizzle this like two tablespoons bacon fat on the top talk about giving it some flavor it's really going to Okay, and of course I dripped it. Get over there. All right, so let me get my. Let me use. I'm just gonna use this right here. No, let me. This one. Where's the other one? All right, I'm gonna use this right here just to give it a little stir. Now I'm not gonna stir it too much, honestly. This is going to be so yummy this evening. I'm going to have this probably. Th I have some leftover green beans in the fridge. And I'm going to be having it with those. And then I'll have some sort of berries. Maybe strawberry and blueberry mix. I don't know. We'll see. Alright. So that's about as good as I'm going to go. So. Just put this back in my pot. That'd be bad if it fell all on the floor, would it not? Bear with me here. Plug this in. Okay. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to start out on high and I will definitely be back to check on it midday just to see how it's going and maybe turn it on low depending depending on how it looks. All right, guys, I'll be back to show you what it looks like later. Okay, guys, so it's been about four and a half hours on high. Then I stirred it and turned it down on low. So let's take a look and watch the phone get all steamed up. Okay, so this has been cooking pretty much six hours, maybe a little more, I'm not sure. That's fine. Anyway, it has a lot of liquid to it, which I honestly was not expecting. So I may put it in a bowl. Um, but I've got some green beans that I'm going to heat up to go with this. And it smells absolutely amazing. So anyway, if you like this kind of thing, if you're trying to get some more veggies in your diet, there's cabbage and onions in here. And the bone broth is actually good for you too. So it's just a good way to maybe get an extra veggie in also it's very very low carb so it's going to be really good i'm going to pair it with some green beans and some kind of berries so anyway i will let you guys know in the description or in the comment section how i liked it and um yeah so there wasn't really a recipe recipe you just kind of saw what i did um but anyway just wanted to show you guys the finished product it looks amazing and i'm sure it's going to taste amazing too let me know if you make it let me know if you do anything different i'm sure there's going to be a a few variations of this recipe so this will be in the recipe section um, with all the other recipes i make so anyway thank you guys for watching and until next time bye